us and all the areas lord where we need to uh we need to iron out in our family all the areas that needs intervention you will intervene in our family in jesus name thank you lord because we know the lord because we know the lord because we know the lord Jesus, Amen. Let's give thanks to God this morning. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's begin to give thanks to Him. Let's begin to allow Him, Father. We are grateful to you. Honor his holy name. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Reverence him in the beauty of holiness. Glorify his holy name. Let's bow before him. Let's reverence him. Let's bow before him. Let's worship him. Let's bow before him. Let's allow him. Let's bow before him. Let's adore his holy name. Let's bow before him. Let's reverence his triumph name. Let's bow before him and give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration that you in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship. Please worship him. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Worship him from the depth of your heart, Father. We are grateful. Jesus, we honor your name because you are God. Thank you because you are prayer. Thank you for the privilege of seeing the splendor of today, the light of today, the way and the manner you have been visiting us each time we appear before you. I want to thank you so, so much, Lord. I want to honor you so much, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Hello, can anyone hear me? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to sit down the Lord this morning and praise his holy name because of his mighty act. How he answered whenever we come before him. We want to thank him how he answers prayer. He does answers our prayer. He does answer that which we ask of him place of prayer. And we do not want to be in great. We do not want to be in great. We are expressing our profound gratitude unto him. We are expressing our deep appreciation unto him. Let's open our mouth and give thanks to him again, once again. Let's glorify him the great God, the great I am that I am, the mighty God, the powerful God, the everlasting God, the God who has been from time immemorial. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness. Let's adore him for the answers to our previous prayer. Let's thank him for all the prayer we have prayed in the past that he has answered. Let's show some level of appreciation unto God. Let's show some level of commitment and devotion unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we give thanks to God? Shall we honor the Lord? Shall we praise the name of our God? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 I want to pray this morning. The prayer this morning, we shall focus and center on things that we actually want in the family 
there are different things that are lagging. Uh, there are different things that we are not seeing in the family. And we want those things to be there so that we can serve the Lord acceptably, so that we can serve the Lord in a beautiful manner. It was Solomon who prayed this prayer, and he was telling the Lord that, that God, we are not allowing him to be wretched, to be a wretched person, so that he will not begin to cause God in his heart. There are many people that do not know that poverty is not a virtue. And it is not something that you want to rejoice in. Poverty is not something you should rejoice in. It's something that one need to seriously pray against. It's something that one really need to go against. Uh, you find out in many homes and the current economy and the current world, you will realize and you will agree with me that many of the things that brings problem and brings particularly in the Christian home is the issue of finance, finance, and the, how we manage finance and how we take finance, we either make the marriage or the relationship to sink or to soar. How we deal with our finances, we either make the marriage to sink, sink or soar. And then you find out in some old, there is complete lack, nothing, absolutely nothing. And it is not because the man is lazy. It is not because and uh, the man uh, is not having what to, uh, maybe his qualification, whether going to school or not, or educated or not, but the man is not lazy. And ju just by one way or the other, things are not just going well for the family. And they are not able to eat. And maybe you even probably begging on believer and all that those things are not uh, things that god will change i mean god will not want you to just live your life in suffering and struggle no his desire is that we will spend our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure and it is very much possible to spend our days in prosperity and to spend it in pleasure have you realized why sometimes People don't come to the Bible study. Uh, Sometimes we might say that they are going cold. Sometimes we might say that they are no longer spiritual. Sometimes we might be quick to judge and say, oh, they are not serious. But do you know sometimes it is not true? For everybody, it is not true. There are those that if they don't do certain job at a particular time, nothing 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 for them i'm telling you the truth nothing for them and then by the time they get to they cannot be telling the children's stories and so they feel that they needed to buckle up and do some things so that they can feed their family and sometimes some of these things clash with activities and clash with meetings and they are not able to meet us some of these meetings and you know, faith differs, our faith differs. There are those who can forego those things and cleave to God and cleave to meeting. It depends and God can have his way. But there are those who may not be able to. And God is not going to judge them and say, oh, they are sinners. Oh, for them not, for not coming to Bible study, oh, they are sinners, so they will go to hell. Mm, there is nothing like that. God also understands and he, he operates at the level of everyone. And you understand the frailty, the weaknesses of people. And so this morning, uh, we have realized that even poverty, if care is not taken, can make someone to miss heaven, can make someone to miss heaven. That just being poor, being poor, that nothing at home, nothing anywhere, and you are not able to take care of your wife or your children. And then the children begin to say certain things to you. And they begin to question you and begin to find out, does God not answer his prayer anymore? Daddy, what is the problem? Are we under a curse? And they are asking you critical questions that even you cannot answer. And then before you know you too, you begin to doubt in your heart. What exactly is the problem? Why are things the way they are? Why are things not moving forward? Why have I prayed? Why have I fasted? Why have I sought the face of God? And yet things are not improving. That's why we will pray. Now, there's another set of prayer where we pray. We have people who are probably doing well. 
but they are deficient spiritually. There is a poverty of the spirit. They are poor, completely poor. They are deficient of God righteousness, and they think because they are doing well financially, they think they are spiritual. They think things are going well with them. Unfortunately for them, they do not know that it is a general benevolence of God that has come upon them. And that's why they are doing well. And the man is not righteous. The woman is not righteous. The children are going their own way. But yet they are prospering in their secular job, in their secular life. And that's why we also pray for such set of people and God should call them to order before it is too late. And then they die in their sin and go to hell. We want to come before God at this time as we go before the Lord in prayer. We are going to pray first and foremost and identify issue. Issue number one is the issue of uh, economy aspect. We want to pray in the name of Jesus that the God of heaven, the God of heaven, we open the channels of heaven and begin to supply. Can I read scripture to us? Let me read scripture so that we can take the scripture to God in prayer. Let's see. What is the mind of God concerning the case I'm talking about? What exactly is the promise we have? Do we have any promise backing up what I'm saying? Let's see it in Deuteronomy chapter 28 in verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. Amen. Be able to give thee the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. You see what it says here? The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. That's exactly what we are asking. That the God of heaven will open unto us his good treasure. Can you take that to God in prayer? His good treasure is what we are asking. That God will open it. And then pour out miraculous unto all. So now you'll see that that place I read, I, I can't hear you praying. I can't hear you talking to God. Please, let's vocalize our prayer. And uh, that, that scripture is saying that God will open unto us his good treasure. You know what good treasure is? It's not even saying treasure. It says good treasure. There are, there, are, there are treasure that when it touches your hand, you will know something that touched your hand. And so God should open. God can open channel. God has channels. God can change somebody's story in a miraculous way. And we are praying this morning that there will be a channel that God will open. And as you open that channel, it will rain down blessings from heaven. Please, are you praying? Let's talk to God in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's let's answer in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to pray. I want to ask the Lord this very morning. That's in verse of scripture. In verse, what verse now? It says, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. It says, and to give rain unto thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. Let's take that to God in prayer. That God will send down rain unto our land in a season. God will send that rain to our family. Even in this current season, we are let the Lord send rain of blessing. 
let the Lord send rain of miracle. Let the Lord send rain of intervention. We need rain of miracles and blessing. We need rain of supernatural intervention. We need rain of supernatural intervention. Oh, that you will send down rain. Oh, that you will release rain from heaven. Oh, that you will intervene in our situation. Oh, that you will visit us in a supernatural manner. Let's talk to God in prayer. That God will send down rain. In the name of Jesus, talk to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to read that same verse 12. And it says, And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. May the Lord make us lenders and not borrowers. May the Lord so bless us that we'll be lending to nations. It's not even saying that thou shalt. It's not even saying that thou shalt lend to that brother. He said, Thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Wow. Thou shall lend to many nations. That means we'll be so wealthy that we'll be able to lend to nations and we will not bow. Let's pray that the God of heaven should open the channels from heaven and bless us. Bless all. Channels should be open. And then we will be lenders and not borrowers. Shall we pray? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray, whatever is the issue, whatever is the issue, uh, the, because it talks about blessing the work of our hand, and it is possible that you find in a family where someone is jobless. We want to ask the Lord this morning that the God of heaven will provide a good job for all the men in the house. Good job. Good job. When I mean job, I don't just mean job. I mean good one. We, you need good job to survive the economy. You need good earnings. Okay, let me use that word. Good earnings to survive this current economy. Good earnings. Good earnings, not 50,000, not even 100,000 naira. Good earnings to survive the economy. Let's pray. God will supply. What will 50,000 naira do in this kind of economy? What will not hundred thousand dollar salary do in this kind of ash dwindling economy, depressive economy? And the Lord give supernatural employment to our brethren, to our pastors, to our leaders. Let's pray. Let's talk to God in prayer. There will be supply. There will be mighty provision. The Lord will provide supernaturally. The Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. Rather than borrowing, we will be lending to others.
rather than borrowing will be for others. None of our pastors will be jobless. None of our husbands will be jobless. God will provide our own excess. God will provide for our family. Our family will not be lagging behind. Father, do it for us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to pray and tell the Lord this morning. I want to call upon his holy name. I want to ask him. I want to pray to him. I want to seek his face and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, many of our brethren who are going through some critical issue, only God in the name of the Lord, those who cannot pay their house rent, those who cannot take care of their children, take care of their wife, they cannot take care of their family. Oh, my Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord cure this problem. Let the Lord intervene in their situation. In the name of Jesus, the Bible talks about those who are not able to take care of their own. Oh, my Father, our people will not be worse than infidels. Our family will not be worse than infidels. Our husbands will not be worse than infidels. Let the Lord help. Let the Lord help. Let the Lord help. Let the Lord help. By the Spirit of God, help. By the power of God, help. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord help. Oh, God, they will take care of their family. Let the Lord open. Let the Lord begin to intervene. They will get something doing, something good. Something good, something good. The family will not remain in abject poverty. Poverty on this platform be gone. Poverty in any family be gone. Poverty and ashes be gone. Struggling life, oh God, be gone. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord intervene, my God. Let the Lord intervene. Let the Lord have his way. In the name of Jesus, pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. As a prayer request, where someone had applied for a job somewhere, and this particular job, uh, in fact, it had been assumed that, uh, not even assumed, the person was actually at, was expecting the letter of uh, uh, whatever now, employment. And uh, even myself, I've congratulated the person and all that. But only for the person to call me yesterday and uh, was telling me of the delay. He called the HR and what the HR was saying, okay, when they are ready, they will, uh, when they are ready again and all that. So the person is worried and was telling me how it is, can be possible in that particular place how somebody else can just say uh, maneuver and maneuver you know this is nigeria and all of that we're going to pray in the name of jesus that the lord will intervene concerning this case and our brother will get that which belongs to him that which the lord has given to him oh the scripture say we will not soul and another rip we will not soul and another rip we shall reap that which we have sown. No. We shall reap the fruits of our labor. Our brother will reap the fruit of the labor. Let the Lord intervene, oh God. Your employment letter will be released. Whatever delay, it is banished. In the name of Jesus, delay, gone. Delay, vamos. Delay, disappear. And let your letter of employment get to you now in the name of Jesus. As many who are looking up to God for intervention. Lord, I pray you will intervene by your spirit and power. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to yeah. pray for those who are doing well financially, but they are not doing well spiritually. They are not yeah. doing well spiritually. They are doing well financially, quite all right. But spiritually, things are not in order. Spiritually, they are deficient of the righteousness of God. And yet, things are going well financially for them. And so they don't even have time for God anymore. I want to pray that God will call them to order before it is too late. I want to pray they will realize their spiritual estate before it is too late. If they're on the platform, let the Lord call them to order. Let the Lord remind them quickly where they are falling. Let the Lord remind them quickly where they have missed it. As many who are just pursuing money, pursuing money at the detriment of their internal well-being, at the detriment of their internal destiny. Let's pray. The Lord will have this way. Jesus Christ, Father, you will have your way for as many that they are losing their their, their eternity, eternity on uh, uh, in, to, re, uh, in, to, in, to replace the word of this world. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will seek them, you will find them, you will redeem them. I pray by the power and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, you will seek them, you will find them, you will redeem them. You will bring them back to the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible let me know what shall be the benefit of a man and we gain all this world and leave the kingdom of God. I pray by the power and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, these people, you will bring them back in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible let me know. It says, seek you first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto you. I pray by the, all the people who are in this condition, you will bring them back. You let them find you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Seek you. Amen. 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 Before I round off, I want to say something. Um, if you look at the book of Genesis, of course, mm -hmm. I will still have to, uh, while I'm saying it, then, thank God Pastor Matthew is online. And thank God is even online. So this is not something to hide. It's still part of how we can help one another. And uh, myself and Pastor, we spoke at length yesterday after the prayer and all that discussing an issue. Now, uh, I have talked about the economic aspects, and as a person, well, I'm a young man. Uh, I do not only teach to what we call crypto, okay? So, and uh, part-time in the also real estate. But then, the, there are different ways now to earn money online. Not even investing. I'm not talking about those investing, bring this one here, bring so 15. Not all those ones. No, I'm not even talking about the one you put money. I'm just mm -hmm. talking about the one that you just do some activity, like, for example, there could be a particular. You don't need to put one here. You don't need to bother yourself all those ones. And then you just mind for some time. It could be four months, it could be three months, it could even be six months and all of that. And that automatically can translate into millions of Naira. How do I know? Just last month here, how many people became millionaires? In fact, even people who don't know much about cryptocurrency, you could see what happened to them just by virtue of tapping not coin. There's a coin called not coin just by tapping their phone like that though and that coin went became uh, went into market it was listed and those people that claim the airdrop airdrop are something very free just to create awareness and it be they became rich now the problem with some of our people is that anything online they think is scam that's the problem so that's why even sometimes to involve some brethren or to involve some people because of the mindset. And yet they are lagging behind so much and yet they are not still willing to learn. And then sometimes they just say, oh, that is antichrist. Uh, this one is antichrist. All these things is antichrist. <laughs> so since you cannot argue with some issue, you just have to let go. So I'm telling Pastor Matthew now, 
already i am i'm training people i i train people i have a platform where a lot of a lot of people are there even brethren young people we train them we teach them and all of that and uh, so if uh pastor matthew will want to also have the brethren some of our brethren or leaders and the rest we could also create uh, another uh, platform where it can bear your name or whatever but we just know that this is his sole reason or purpose for that platform. And then once in a while, I could come on board, train, teach, then drop a particular viable airdrop. It might not even be every airdrop, just viable. For example, there's a particular airdrop now called, this thing I'm saying now, you might say, is this part of our prayer? Yes, it is part. Mm -hmm. Because this is family. And family needs finance. And I said from the beginning, how you manage finance will either sink your marriage or swear your marriage. How you handle finance. People have suffered even divorce and separation because of uh, a lack of money in the home. And the earlier we understand that complaining and complaining about Nigerian situation will not change things. The truth is that it won't change things. It is to find a way to float that we change things. If you keep talking and keep talking, you might even develop high blood pressure. Why not you now begin to think, how do you generate extra income in a legitimate manner? That's exactly what I am doing. And I wouldn't want a situation where, and then you keep, there's a way you even complain, you will commit sin. There's a way you complain, you sin against God. If someone dies in that condition, we go to hell. God will not say it because of Tinubu. That you go to hell. The person will go to hell. God is not emo uh, will not become emotional about it. That's why poverty is not even a, a, a good thing. It's not something one should attract to himself. It's not something one should allow. So you should pray against it. We should hate it. We should whatever we can. Prayer, fasting, walking, ideas, and the rest. And so one of the ideas is what I'm just giving us now. So we think over it or pray about it. If the Lord allows it for you, Pastor Matthew, so you let me know. So I'll teach the burden. And then when a particular airdrop call, what do they need to download? Just have Telegram on your phone. Just have Twitter, that's X, on your phone. And then what again now? Maybe Instagram. And then some other thing. Just install those apps. And then you follow them. You click follow. You do some activity like you are farming in the farm. Just click and click. And then before you know and these things are in dollar. And by the time you convert it, if any of them become viable later, you convert them. You might be shocked. A boy has made three million. Boy has made five million. Boy has made ten million. Boy has made maybe thousands, not a million. Not depending on the situation. And then God helping. Maybe in the family, two, three people are doing it. And then before you know it, this one make this one makes more. This one makes more. This, the family will robust and come alive again. You can use it to establish one or two things for yourself. It uh, one of my friends who is in Canada, he used about 20, he used to say, ah, I make 25,000 naira to turn to, is it 6 million, I'll be 25 million, as I must say, from 25,000 to a massive million. He's currently in Canada by the grace of God. He's our, our brother, he's a Christian, so it's not that I'm not talking of outside, I'm talking of my own friend, a deeper life brother. So it is important we understand that there's a lot online that many of our people are not utilizing, or is it that they don't want to learn, or they just feel that anything online is calm. So we must change that narrative or that mindset. Thank you very much, Pastor. So back to you, Pastor Matt. Yeah, let's call upon the name of the, of the Lord, especially for the brother, the letter is hanging, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, go we bring the letter out in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not commanding, but we are asking. And uh, what is the reason why we are asking? The Bible says, ask and you shall be given. It says, seek, you shall find, and then it says, no, the door shall be opening. We cannot yes. imagine the, uh, the, uh, the, the anticipation, the, the willingness, the, the expectation of this brother about this letter. If we, this is all what we know about it, God is still performing miracle. He can still, he can still bring that letter out. We are never the letter and let's call upon the name of the Lord. You know, when you are being in this kind of situation, you will understand what Pastor Yomi was saying. Already, he has been employed. 
I remember when I was in that kind of position, uh, my I and my MD, we have agreed already that this girl is going to be employed. And then by the time the girl left, the only thing for me is to issue the letter of employment. By the time the, let go, the girl left, I just changed my mind that this thing will happen, this thing will happen, I'm forecasting this thing. And I changed my mind immediately. And I said, sir, I don't want to, so to expect it to, to employ the girl again. My MD was totally surprised. And as a result of that, the girl was not employed. But since then, he stopped talking to me about employment, about anybody. Look at that thing. Just look at that thing. Already the girl had been promised. The only thing that was expecting was the letter of uh, uh, admin. So we don't know what really happened. We call upon the name of the Lord. You are God of God. I mean, you are God of provision. You are the God that that that, that can bring things back. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. As far the brother have been told, and I will tell us another story that I want to use to back this. Uh, by the grace of the Lord, when I was in the college, I had a lot of challenges. And one of my Muslim teachers took me to another Christian teacher that let this man go. The, the lecturer is very, 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 uh, I don't want to use with it. But I, you would know what I understand. Then the man, the, the man went, the Muslim brother, I called the name Mr. Mohammed, Ahmed. He took me to a Christian, a Christian um, uh, teacher, which is Elijah. Then, by the time we left, Elijah met me and said, you, you have gone to Mohammed, now I should let you go. You this it say all those things I don't want to say something out of uh what maybe I can't remember. Then I met Baba, I met Mr. Mohammed Ba. I told him that I met Baba Elijah. This is what Baba Elijah said. This is what Baba Elijah said. He said, that's a Muslim. Man. He said, let let us hold his word for what he has said that he will let you go. At the long run, this one passed me. And I left the I left the college. That's what I said. That these people have promised our brother the letter. That's what they said. We call upon the name of the Lord. We owe them on what they have said, or not what mm. we are we not saying. We call upon the name of the Lord. Wherever the letter is, God will bring it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, yeah. wherever the letter is hanging. We are never, we are never, wherever the letter is, either after he has left, they change their mind, either one thing or maybe just I post something is delaying, either one man or the one woman in that place want to change his mind. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The power, the, the physical power is on, on them now, but the spiritual power is on, is on our hand. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the letter will be produced. 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 Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon God's letter. The secret behind it, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will open it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call up the God of Elijah. There's more of the prayer that always called. That always, that always interest, that, the, that is always interested me. That's the prayer of Elijah. Uh, uh, the prayer of Elijah. Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elijah? If the God of Elijah can do, can do it for all other people, he will do this one too. Let us pray as if you are concerned. Let us pray as if you are seeing the future of this situation. Let us pray as if this brother does not have work. And he need to eat. He need to feed his family. He need to he, he need to make an impact in the in, in the situation in Nigeria. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will provide the letter for us. Almighty God is going to provide the letter for us by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. The letter is going to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. This this brother come to you and say, give me fifty thousand dollars. If this brother come to you and say, give me the fifty thousand naira. If this brother come to you and get give me the fifty thousand, I mean one hundred thousand naira. But by yeah. securing this job, it has stopped all those problems, and that's when he, he too will be live comfortably, and he will be able to be provide for the his family. I say the sort of that the wealth is being extended. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, nothing will stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. We will owe these people the, the employer. We, we, we are holding them with the word of their mouth. 
that you are being employed, that we will send the letter of employment unto you. I call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this letter will not go down the 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 the, the, the ill, but the power and the blood it will come up. It will come up of the air. If we come up of the air, if we come up of the air, if we call mom of the air, now by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this will be the testimony. 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 Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. In low, holy shay, O Lord, in low, holy shay, in low, holy shay, O Lord, our walk in low, holy shay. I want you to die at all. In low, holy shame. In low, holy shame. In low, holy shame. Oh, God, you feel all around. Oh, God, you feel Oh, God, you he was the Oda, a year at all. Oh, God, you feel all. Oh, God, you feel all. Oh, God, you feel all. Pad you long, what our Lord, I wa, pad you long, what our Pad you long, what our Lord, I wa, pad you long, what I want to you die, I hear a tone, but you long want to. But you long want to, Lord, but you long want to. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. As far as your means going to land up for us about the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will share testimony about this later. We will share testimony about this later. We will share testimony about this later. Even the bo- the owner of the letter, God will take him to another realm entirely. We are by uh, with the processing of the letter, God will reveal to him. God will reveal to him. God will reveal to him that this is how this letter is going. This is what happened. This is what happened. It will be just mere delay that by the power and the blood, God will reveal to him. And he will able to take total control of the situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's backed up by Almighty God. Why? Because he's backed up by Jesus. Why? Because he's backed up by Holy Spirit. And the situation of the letter God is going to reveal to him in the name of Jesus Christ. God will produce the letter in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the mouth of these people will hold it with the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The letter shall be produced in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor, you may grant of us. Yes, sir. We honor you and we worship you because you have answered. We trust you, O oh Lord God. We believe you that all that we have told you in the place of prayer, you will answer. Mm-hmm. Lord, particularly, we ask for the economy situation of our home, of our family, of our pastors and leaders. And Lord, we know and we believe you that the situation will not remain the same after today, after this period. Even mm-hmm. as we have prayed, oh God, there will be testimony. Mm-hmm. Lord, you that answer prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. And as we have cried to you, as we have prayed to you, let there be answer from thee, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen barrier to the answers to prayer. There will be no barrier to everything we have told you. Everything Mm -hmm. we have told you, Lord God, you will give to us according to your will and purpose for our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. You have answered. Thank you, Lord. In mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Uh, by the grace of the Lord, we shall discuss about the later one uh, when I have the time I will call. So let's uh, share the grace together. The grace, the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love, the love of God, of, and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be Christ with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness Amen. and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, everyone.